Spears joins us. And Chris, uh, CDOT saying there's a high wind advisory along I-70 from Golden out to the Eisenhower and Johnson Tunnels. Yeah, you know, you may run into some gusty north and northwest winds out that way as high as 50, 55 miles per hour if you're heading up to ski this morning. So good cause for that advisory. It's all because of a very active jet stream. We're right on the south edge of it and, and close enough that we are picking up some strong winds in the north central part of the state. You can also see the cloud cover kind of filtering in as that jet stream sits just off to our north. There's plenty of moisture in that jet, so that is why these bouts of cloud cover uh, head our way along with occasional gusty wind, and we're going to see that pick up as we go into the day tomorrow. It's 29 here at CBS 4 in our outdoor weather lab, 23 over in Aurora from Heather Jones, and in Littleton, the Columbine West area, Pam has 26. So most of the metropolitan area in those mid to upper 20s this morning, it is 30 over at the airport, 30 in Boulder, 30 in Parker, 17s along the 70 corridor as you head into the high country. It's 10 in Aspen, 17 in Montrose, 18 in uh, Lyman this morning, 32 in Kimball, Nebraska. There's the wind map. Wow. 45 mile per hour gusts on Berthoud Pass. Georgetown's down to 48. 53 in Nederland there near the reservoir. 31 mile per hour winds in Estes Park. So any of the, the routes going through the high country from uh, heading down into Park County through Fair Play, all the way up to Estes Park on the Peak to Peak Highway. Very gusty crosswinds this morning uh, with the strong flow in the atmosphere and some of that wind spilling into the city. Looking ahead, Joel, the winds pick up for a lot of us as we go into Monday, Tuesday, and we warm up, and then a pretty big change will hit us Wednesday into Thursday as the jet stream actually comes into Colorado. I'll show you that in the five-day forecast in the next weather.